Hi, my name is Marie. This is my picture. I did 2004's Carver Baby. And it has a modern art touch to it. And it's one of my pieces that I like. And it's acrylic painting. And there's a profile. And you can see it. This is a watercolor still alive. I did um, 10 years ago. And it's a still life of fruit and a plant. It's watercolor. Hi, this is um, a design class that I did when I was in college. And it's basically, it's an um, abstract with all different media where it's um, punch hole dots and it's, the, it's purple. It's a pro, self profile portrait. Hi, this is Butterfly. It's a five piece individual woods that I put together. And I did that in 1997, 99. Hi, this is a painting that if you ever seen The Labyrinth, the movie, it's one of those characters that ha has the hair head cut off. And I did this in 2000. It's acrylic. Okay. This is my kitchen. I live in a condo in um, Virginia. Um, when I first got this place, it was all white. And um, I actually painted the the kitchen with three different, four different colors. One is, is a, a sponge technique, and the base under it is a regular olive color or bone color. And it, it took about like a couple days here and there. And I, I'm very proud of my work. Um, this is my heart painting that consists of love. This is the love that you first love. This one right here is Cupid. This one right here is a heartbreak. Cold heart and dead heart. Um, this is a mixed media with news, uh, magazine print pictures. It's acrylic. It's about a um, relationship. Um, the main focus is that woman and this guy, and then they were together and they had they brought a car. I haven't finished it yet, but I have to think about some more things to add on it. Um, we heard a noise back in our room, and our Copperhead and Scarface actually pushed the screen, and this is what ca caused caused this um, scar, this injury. She was trying to get out, so I um decided to uh, bring her out. So she's restless. Hopefully she's uh, doing okay with her scar. And she has uh, narrow nostrils and she's breathing through her mouth. And she's, from that point, she had a bad shed on her face. That's why we call her scar face.
This is the wall of sunflowers. You see, my favorite thing is sunflowers. So, this is half my collection that I have. I have certain things in my bedroom, but for now, I just want to do a short tour. And of course, this is my Honduran mixed snake. It's hiding. Um, Nick just fed him a couple days ago, so hopefully he's gonna be feed. Going to feed him soon. Hey, reptile people. Um, just doing a video for Lee, but uh, just saying hi. Um, so I'm sure some of you will probably see this. Reptile people. Uh, I am the reptile guy, Nick, or Muff Daddy 2, on YouTube. So, interestingly, um, Lee caught a rat today that was loose in the house for like a week and a half. So, and the way that happened was, is, um, you know, rats are a little bit smarter than mice. And, um, I was trying to feed a, a rat to a snake, and that rat just took off, and it, it did recon all over the place, and it just, uh, it was camping out, and Lee caught it today, so, saying hi in Lee's video, and, uh, I'm the reptile guy. This is the, uh, escaped culprit right here, Mr. Ratatouille. He had a good run, but his fate is sealed, and soon he will be feasted upon by one of our reptiles. Although I can't help but feel pity for him because he was a good fighter and he did run. He was smart. I don't know. Maybe we'll end up keeping him. Who knows? He did escape for a week and a half. Left a bunch of poop underneath a bookshelf, but I gotta hand it to something that's a fighter. I admire that. So, anyways, this video is for Lee, and Lee caught this rat today after it was escaped in her house for a week and a half. Had nowhere to go, but it, uh,. It was hiding. This is another piece of mine. It's wire and styrofoam. And it's a guy sitting on, on a shelf. This is my bathroom. I actually painted the bathroom. Um, there's different collections here. I'm very eclectic personnel. And that's about it of the tour. So hopefully <laughs> there's a story behind this mask because my uh, neck doesn't like it at all. And it's scary. <laughs> so hopefully you like my my stuff. Bye. I'm not afraid of snakes. I love them.